G'day everybody and welcome to week 15 of CZ's Selections, brought to you by Sinclair Wilson. Everything you deserve? At Sinclair Wilson, we can answer all of your financial questions, optimise your tax position and develop long-term strategies which will be very much to your advantage. Sinclair Wilson, for strength in numbers. We're up to round 15 in the AFL. There's no Hampton League action this weekend, so to start things off, we have another Thursday night match, this time between Port Adelaide and Collingwood at Adelaide Oval. In the last couple of seasons, you would have picked Port Adelaide without even blinking, but they've been really ordinary this year. Collingwood's in good form, so you're gonna to have to go with the Magpies with this one, I think. Hard to argue against it, really. And on Friday night, we have Richmond versus Carlton at the MCG. The Tigers are traveling along quite nicely. Carlton is definitely improved from when the two teams met in round one, but to be honest, so is Richmond. I don't think the results can be too much different from when the Sides last met. I'm tipping the Tigers by about five goals. And then on Saturday, I've apparently committed a bit of a tipping no-no. I've gone with all the away teams for this one. To start it off, we have Essendon versus Melbourne at the MCG. Just when you think that things can't get any worse for Essendon, they lose to St Kilda by 110 points. And now they've lost their captain, Joe Watson, for the season after he had surgery on his shoulder. He aggravated or re-aggravated an injury that he had against the Saints. So another blow for the poor Dons. So I'm tipping Melbourne to get this one pretty comfortably as well. And then we have Western Bulldogs versus Gold Coast up at Kazali Stadium. Gaz is back and look at the difference an informed Gaza makes to the Suns. I reckon that might be the turning point for their season. I am an unashamed Gaza fan, so I'm hoping that he has continues to have a really good impact with the side. I'm going to tip the Suns to get the win, and yes, even though it is technically a Western Bulldogs home game, it's up at Cairns, so it's really in Gold Coast part of the world, or at least in the same state as them. So it's closer to being a Gold Coast home game, so sort of tipping the home side here. And then we have North Melbourne versus Geelong at Etihad Stadium. North Melbourne has not really been great this year, let's face it. And the Cats will be refreshed after a 20 day break between matches and should hopefully get a few stars back, so I'm tipping them to get the win. But North Melbourne does tend to play really well against Geelong, so it's really anybody's guess. And then we have West Coast Eagles versus Adelaide up at Subiaco. This one's a really tough one to pick. Obviously, Eagles are doing extremely well at the moment. They're one of the top sides in the competition, top two. But I think just given the amount of emotion that Adelaide's gonna be taking into this game, I can't go past them to get the win. And then on Sunday, we have Greater Western Sydney versus St Kilda at Spotless Stadium. I was tempted to pick the Saints here. They did have a 110 point win last week, so we'll have heaps of momentum behind them. And I probably really should have picked them, but it's too late now, I've already done the graphics, so I have to stick with Greater Western Sydney, who did much better last week than what I was expecting. It's a home game for them, so maybe they'll just scrape through with the win, and I hope they do, but to be honest, I'm not convinced. <laughs> that might have been a bad tip by me. And then we have Hawthorne versus Fremantle at Aurora Stadium. I got talked into this one because apparently Hawthorne won't lose at Aurora. Not even to the top of the ladder, top of the ladder Fremantle. So I'm tipping the Hawks just, and they do have a lot of form behind them at the moment, so it's probably a pretty solid tip to be honest. And finally we have Brisbane Lions versus Sydney Swans up at the Gabba. Got to go with Sydney for this one just because it's Sydney and they're third at the moment and the poor Lions are sitting at a lowly 18th. And just to make matters worse for the Lions, Franklin and Tippett come back this week. Yay! <laughs> so a few headaches for the poor Lions defenders to deal with. I'm tipping Sydney to win very, very easily. That's it for this week everybody to all the Hampton League footballers and netballers who have scored the weekend off. Enjoy it, it's a much needed break for you guys and to everybody else, happy tipping.